Hello, greetings, Sagittarius. Come on in here. I'm Tiffany. We are going to do your reading for the week of March 25th. I'm sorry, for the week of February 25th through March 2nd. We're going to explore the wisdom of the tarot with intuitive readings. I offer general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. But before I start your reading, Sagittarius, I am going to go ahead and bless my cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light. May they be a vessel of truth, insight, and guidance. As I shuffle and draw, may your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. All right, Sagittarius, let's get into what Divine Spirit needs you to know for the upcoming week, February 25th through March 2nd. All right, Sagittarius, drop in the comments. What was one exciting thing that you experienced last week and you're still feeling the energy, the good energy into this week? Share with us in the comments below. And oh my gosh, you're the second reading I'm attempting and it's big. If I don't get these cards the first time and it's like almost a card disaster, that means something major is about to be revealed for you, Sagittarius. Let's try it again. Divine Spirit. What does Sagittarius need to know for the upcoming week? Do tell. Uh-huh. Okay. Jumper. Okay, Sagittarius. Let's take a look at your shadow card. Shadow cards end up on the bottom of the deck and they represent either your hopes or your fears. This is a four of swords. We will get into this shortly. All right, you have the nine of swords. You have the five of pentacles. And lastly, you have the death card. A lot of people get a little anxious and jumpy when they see the death card. And I encourage you to look at the death card as something amazing is about to go down. Okay, Sagittarius, what is going on here? Divine Spirit. All right. Something is holding your thoughts hostage. Sagittarius, something is not allowing you to live your waking moments with true peace and not allowing you to get restful sleep at night Sagittarius with this nine of swords there is some sort of conflict you're dealing with I'm going to try to get more for clarification on what it is what's going on and here we have the five ooh, the five of pentacles these hollow cards are really hard to see. I do apologize for that. Five of Pentacles for you, Sagittarius. And this is normally indicating, again, some sort of conflict, uh, some sort of instability. And it seems like there is there is some mental instability you're, because you're struggling with something at this point. And then we have the Death card. For you, Sagittarius. The death card represents endings. Um, very similar to like the Ten of Swords. It represents endings as well as new beginnings. Like a new cycle is going to happen, Sagittarius. There's going to be a new beginning for you. Something that has been weighing heavy on you. Conflict. It's over. It's coming to an end this week. It will be dealt with. Let's see what the shadow card is. And I need more clarification. So your shadow card is the four of swords. And shadow cards point to either hopes or fears. And you are hoping for this situation to end and Divine Spirit is telling you, take a break. Take a break. Give yourself a break. If you need to take a mental health day this week, then take that mental health day. Take care of your body. 
do absolutely nothing nap as much as you can give yourself some grace treat yourself like you would treat a baby you're gentle with a baby you're kind to a baby and compassionate to a baby you need to treat yourself that way as well uh sagittarius give yourself a break if you if your body is calling for a mental health day you need to call out that day like take this serious because you you are in a lot of turmoil right now and i'm unclear of what it is i'm going to get some clarification but what i can tell you is it's over it's the end of this turmoil you're going to have um transformation and new beginning so let's get some clarification for sagittarius divine spirit what is going on here clarify give us more if you will please do tell mm -hmm. it's a lot of big energy these this week lots of big energy All right, we had three jumpers. Sagittarius. Hold tight. I know this is this is weighing heavy on you. Hold tight. Stand your ground. Create your boundaries. If is someone is there someone that is causing all this turmoil? Are you feeling abandoned? by someone at this point Sagittarius are you feeling like you're not seen or heard by someone someone that you really care about you're close to them and they're not listening to you when you're asking for a more uh, healthy relationship or a more intimate relationship and that doesn't mean a romantic intimacy intimacy can be in any relationship it's authentic okay Get y'all's minds out of the gutter. <laughs> That's what I'm feeling like. This is a, a personal abandonment. Someone very close to you. Someone you definitely care about. But they're not hearing you. They're not seeing you. They're not validating that your feelings matter. And it, also, it almost feels borderline toxic to you. But you do want to fix it. And you can fix it. But you cannot give in. You must set your boundaries, Sagittarius. With this Six of Swords, it's looking like that boundary that you must set is a boundary of I'm going to have to love you from afar because you're going to have to step back from this individual, take a beat, take a breath as to not injure yourself mentally and emotionally anymore. This doesn't mean you cut them off completely. It doesn't mean that they're out of your life forever, but you must take a step back. You must move on to calmer shores for the meantime. And as long as that takes is how long it takes, right? Only you will know when you're ready. Okay. Your truth matters, Sagittarius. Your truth is valid and it's important. And you are intelligent enough to know this about yourself. You already know. So set boundaries with this individual and hold your boundary because with the page of wands this is this is a new start you get to explore more about yourself as an individual Sagittarius you get to learn yourself better you get to understand what you will and will not accept from others and and set exp expectations for yourself how you will treat yourself how you will speak to yourself we say so many things in our minds so many words throughout the day in our minds that could really trip us up and we have to be mindful to not get mind bleeped by the things that we're thinking change the limiting beliefs know that you are valuable know that you are loved know that you deserve the best things in life and you have to give those things to yourself before you can expect anyone else to right Sagittarius I'm super excited for you things are turning around let's pull a single card from the shaman's dream oracle for Sagittarius Divine Spirit, a single oracle card. Uh-huh, there it is. All right. 
empty well time to replenish oh my goodness Sagittarius time to replenish time to fill your cup because this this situation right here Sagittarius this has drained you big time it has emptied your well big time Sagittarius, it is time to replenish. Refill your cup. Take that mental health day if you need it to refill your cup. Everything. Refill your cup in each area of your life. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally, and physically. Take the time for yourself to replenish your well. Sorry about that. Alarms going off around here. Um, because it's necessary. Go within, reflect on the life you lived to this point, assess the things that you want to change and improve about yourself, assess the things that have worked well for you and keep doing those things, Sagittarius. You, you've you got it. You can do this. You're coming out of this on top. Okay. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. Alarms and stuff just wilding out. One more card for Sagittarius from the Spirit Animal Oracle. One more card, Divine Spirit. What animal spirit will Sagittarius embody this week that will take them through their week successfully? With joy, this card right here. All right, let's see what we got. Antelope Spirit, life is speeding up. Life is speeding up. You are finding balance in your life. You are, and you will find that balance when you refill your well, when you replenish your well. Life will speed up for you. And it's like the intensity is going to ramp up day by day. Do not be dismayed. Do not be fearful because you are built for this, Sagittarius. Know that you are capable of overcoming. Things are turning around for you. New opportunities, new cycles, just a whole renewing of your spirit, right? I really hope this resonates with you, Sagittarius, right? I really do. I'm excited for you. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss anything that I have for you. And I will see you next time. But until then, bye-bye.